Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and in this video we will see how we can install WHM along with cPanel on DigitalOcean. So let's get started. So we will log into DigitalOcean account and we will have some this type of a panel dashboard. Let's create a separate project for the cPanel. Let me name it cPanel and you can skip the description part from this purpose. I am selecting web application and click create project. Skip this for now and let's wait for a while. So now the project is created in the project. We will have to spin up the new droplet and choose the cPanel for the installation. So for spinning up the new droplet, we will click the spin up button here. So now we are on the create droplet page from here for the first option is selecting the region. I will be selecting Bangalore as it is closer to me. Then in the choose image, click on marketplace and in the marketplace. So here we are search for C panel. And in the C panel, we are getting C panel WHM for Alban Linux. I am the I am just selecting the second one. And from here, choose the size. I am going with basic and regular SSD. And I am selecting the default one, which is 4 GB RAM, 2 CPU, and 80 GB SSD. And for the connection, keep the backup as such. Choose authentication method. I am selecting password. And I will be generate. I will be adding entering the strong password so i am using a password generator online and copying this password and let me copy and paste it here so it's copied and we are good to go just click on create droplet and wait for a while for so that the droplet is spin up so the droplet is getting created we will have to wait for a while so that it, everything gets ready let's click on this panel so we can see the options okay wait for a while let me meanwhile let me paste the password i copied So this is the password I have copied in, in the sublime editor. So the droplet seems to be up now. So we will go to. So let's log into the this panel using the terminal. Let me open the terminal. SSH root at IP of the droplet and then the then it's asked for the password. Let me copy again the password. Just paste in here and paste. And we are logged in. So after logging onto your terminal, we are getting this description message. Do read this message very carefully. Here you will see we have this. We are getting the this message which says to log into WHM as root user. Run the command WHM login and I am running it WHM login and wait for a while so the initial setup gets completed so the initial setup is completed and they, it has generated me a URL let's visit this URL copy go back to browser and paste it let me remove the blocker and paste it again so click on advance and then proceed with it so now we can see the whm panel so whm panel is now installed we will have to generate the password for it 
so for that i click on this checkbox and click continue click on login to cpanel store is requesting to access yeah allow access now click on yeah now we will have to wait for few more minutes click on next and check this checkbox and click next ignore this and click finish exit to whm so now we are logged in on our whm but this whm will be accessed only directly via the ip address now now let's map the domain to this whm so for that we will go to dom domain register from where we have purchased the domain like i have already have one domain restoflow.in which i purchased from godaddy and from here i will go to name server and i will point this name server to the digital ocean so i in that case i will be managing everything directly via D digital ocean and i do not have to visit back to godaddy so let's change this the name server to digital ocean so let's jump back to the digital ocean and click on add domain here i will be entering restro flow dot in yeah the okay add domain and it is giving me the name server i will be adding this name server directly in the name server i will use my own name server delete the dot at the end name server 2 and ns3 let me cross check it One, two, three. Yeah, correct. Save. Continue. Let me refresh it. To DNS name server. So the name server is changed on the GoDaddy. <laughs> and now it will take some time like it will take 1 hour or 2 hour or it can take one complete day for the dns propagation such that the uh, the domain is now been been be managed from the digital ocean and not from the godaddy so we will have to wait for that meanwhile i will be adding few more things here so the ip of this droplet is currently this is the ip assigned to this droplet let me go back to the domains here and add few more things like a record i will be adding this the ip and i will be also adding the wildcard subdomain pointing to same whm So now everything is pointed here. So let's jump back to the WHM and and wait for a while for the DNS propagation. I will show you the resolver. So let me open a separate window or for that. dns propagation and here i will be entering restro flow dot in and see the a record it is not yet showing up ns lookup restro flow dot in so this ns 63 is currently of godaddy so we will have to wait for a while such that it shows the digital ocean names name server
so dns propagation is still in progress let me show you <laughs> so here i have entered restoflow.in and name server selected and when i click search we can see some of the places it is showing digitalocean and other it's godaddy so it's still taking time for all the reasons but it's going great so meanwhile let's go back to whm and create generate or reset our root password as i do not remember the password of the whm so let me click here we'll click on the user icon here and click on password modification here let me generate yeah generate copy this paste and the new password is saved so let me save this also <coughs> so let's jump to creating a new account on the whm so for that we'll go to accounts search accounts and from here click on list account i'm logged out let me log in and the password is this one let me paste it so we are back to the account section we click on list account and from here we will click on create new account and here i am typing restro flow dot in the path let me generate the password or let me use the same password for the c panel also and the email and from the dns setting i am using use name server on demo okay which is this one so let me click on create so the account is created let's jump back to list accounts and from here i will be clicking on c panel just so we are now on to the c panel click on by checking this box and click save skip so as you can see we are now on the c panel so c whm and c panel are installed and we have also pointed the domain to the digital ocean and the digital ocean we have managed all the a records to be pointed to whm the certificate it's failed because the dns propagation is still in place so here we have learned how we can install the whm create uh, point uh, name server to the digital ocean and on the digital ocean how we can add a records to be pointed to the whm and then also we have learned how to reset the password of whm so let me open the restroflow.in in the new tab so we are getting this error restroflow server this is this error we are getting because the dns propagation is still in, pre, uh, in progress and it will take some time means it can take two to three hours so it will resolve so uh, but we have learned everything related to whm and c panels for now so if you still have any query related to how to install whm on digital ocean you can Ask me in the comment section and I will try to answer all your queries. Thank you.